perfect webinar video recording. Well, in this past few years running my video editing agency, we have been doing quite a few editing of VSLs. If you don't know what a VSL is, it is called a video sales letter. And it is a video which is going to be at the top of your webinar funnel. It can be a VSL, it can be a webinar which is following Russell Brunson's $100 million script. It can be any other model as well. But yes, a VSL is essential for any kind of course creator, any kind of business owner who is running a funnel. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to record the perfect webinar video. Now this video is not for all the video makers, video editors or the filmmakers who are helping the guy shoot. It is not for them. It is for all the business owners out there. It is for all the course creators out there who are shooting, recording and scripting the videos themselves. Yes, I know there are people like that and I know it is a pain in the ass just to record the perfect video. So how to do that? First thing is the camera. It can be your zoom recording, so your webcam. It can be your phone recording, so your iPhone, preferably an iPhone because the video is a lot better in iPhones compared to Android. And the last one is a digital camera. If you have a digital camera, it is the go-to way. Otherwise, just use your phone. It is going to give you the best result if you don't have a camera. And if you don't even want to use your phone, which I'm not sure why, if you don't want to use it, then just use a webcam. But I will not recommend using a webcam that is. So after that is done, you have to have a set. Now, in most cases, most of the course creators out there may not have a room just like this to record a video, which is very normal. So for that, just use your bedroom, your office room or any other room which is suitable for that. Make sure there is a good amount of distance, at least four to five feet from the camera. If you're using a DSLR, same with the phone. The priority here should be your microphone. Whichever visual device you're using, the priority in this video will be your microphone. Make sure to keep that in mind and you're looking straight into the camera, not your script. Maybe for your script, just read it out quite a few times so that you guys can record it well. However, I will recommend not reading through the script because it will hamper the recording. With that being said, once the camera is set, your room is set, your distance between the camera and yourself is set, all you have to do is click on the record button. But before that, you have to keep a few things in mind. First, like I said, audio. So make sure to have a good microphone. If you don't have the budget to buy a $100 or a $200 microphone, then I'll recommend just buy a lavalier microphone, which can be attached to your phone. Once you guys use it, return it back to Amazon. That is the cheapest way to do the thing. Secondly is lighting. Make sure to have a good light. A ring light, if you're making TikTok videos, is very good. It should be placed at least like 45 degrees to your face so that you know this part of the face lights up well may not be right in front because the moment it's, it's right in front of you, you're, if you're wearing glasses, it will reflect just like this and it doesn't look good. So make sure it is at 45 degrees so that you know the lights go straight to you, this part of the body and it lightens up and there is no reflection on the eyes as well. Number three, if you are reading a script, then make sure to keep it right in front of the camera and right below it. So you know there's not much difference in your eye level and it is like looking straight into the camera itself and you're keeping the script right below the camera, you can use an AI tool to fix your eyes in post-production. But the AI tool will not work if you're looking sideways or this way or that way. It has to be straight to the camera. Maybe you're looking below the camera just like this or above the camera, AI will fix that. But the moment you're looking right or left for the script, AI will not fix that. That's the key thing. There goes your three things, audio, lighting, and the script. Those three things you have to cater to. And that is pretty much done. Hit the record button and you are good to go. Another thing which you can keep in mind is the framing of the video. Make sure you are in the center of the frame. Make sure there is ample amount of space on the left and on the right so that the editor, whoever is editing, can put a lot of text, lot of, you know, motion graphics on the left and right so that they can make a good engaging VSL. Keep that in mind because it is always essential to keep your editor's editing in mind so that they can make a better video. With that being said, this is how we made the perfect webinar video. If you're someone who is looking to get your webinar videos edited, do make sure to follow and reach out to my team. I'm sure we can help you guys. With that being said, I'm Pixel Sammy. We'll be back with a new video soon. Peace out.